for Lehman Brewster against Andrew Galata. Brewster says that at some point the romance with bigger heavyweights is going to end when he or another fighter like him shows that 240 and 250 pound fighters simply don't have the stamina to compete effectively in the division. As for Galata, he's in that category now, having moved up to 248 as for his weigh-in weight for this particular fight. Andrew Galata is 37 years old, and that further emphasizes the point that this is probably his last chance on the heavyweight title merry-go-round. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Lehman Brewster, Andrew Galata fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case a cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards after four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Peace out, Jim. <laughs> Here comes Galata, and this place will erupt as he emerges into the spotlight. Larry, after all of his various meltdowns, from quitting to never showing up, never winning a big fight, will he be forgiven for everything if he happens to win tonight? Jim, even he says it would only be a start. A start, it would be a miracle if he would ever to finish. But as you said, he's one of the most talented heavyweights you'll ever see physically. But he's been undermined by his inability to cope with fatigue, frustration, and anything that goes wrong in, in, the, in a fight. And he is painfully aware of it to the point where even he suggests he might not be able to deal with the pressure of performing in front of so many of his fans. Despite all of that, he's a two to one or more favorite to win tonight. He came within a point or two of beating Chris Bird for Bird's title belt last April. He came within a couple of points of beating John Ruiz for Ruiz's title belt in December and put Ruiz down twice. Maybe tonight, Andrew Galata finally gets over the hump, but he's taking on the ultimate survivor in Lehman Brewster. Roy Jones, after that desultory performance against Callie Meehan, Brewster hired a new trainer, Jesse Reed, saying that he needs to be better motivated. What does a veteran fighter like Brewster mean when he says something like that? That means that at this point in his career, he can no longer truly motivate himself. He needs some new blood in the camp, some new fire up on them. A lot of times we get used to the same old things and we become stagnant, and we need a new voice in just to help motivate us to get us to where we want to go now. Hard to imagine anybody could fall flat tonight in the face of a crowd such as will greet this fight. Earlier, they got a chance to see a fight for a vacant light heavyweight belt between Paul Briggs of Australia and Tomas Adamek of Poland. It was a sensational 12-round war won by the Polish fighter. And Roy, these people are pumped up. Yes, they are really pumped up. They're looking for a definitely following fight, follow up to what they saw earlier. The Polish fighter and the Australian fighter gave them a wonderful fight early, and now they're looking for a follow up. All right, so they're in the ring now, and we're ready for ring announcer Michael Buffer to start the heavyweight festivities. Ladies and gentlemen, from the United Center, Chicago, Illinois. Don King Productions is proud to present, in association with the motion picture Cinderella Man, directed by Ron Howard and starring Russell Crowe and Renee Zellweger in theaters everywhere June 3rd, the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the world. Sanctioned by the Illinois Division of Professional Regulation Boxing Board. Secretary Fernando E. Agrio, Director Dan Blithart, Chief of Boxing Ron Pacillo, Executive Manager Joel Camposano, WBO President at ringside Francisco Paco Barcarcel. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout will be William Lurch, Thomas Miller, and Michael Pernick. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action 
working in the 65th world title contest in his career, Gino Rodriguez. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, from Chicago, Illinois, uh, let's get it! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, official weight, 248 pounds. Professional record, 38 victories, including 31 knockouts, with five defeats and one draw. He now fights out of Chicago, Illinois, but comes here from Warsaw, Poland. Introducing the challenger, Andrew Go And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing camouflage. His official weight, 224 pounds. Professional record, 31 victories, including 27 knockouts with only two defeats. Now training and fighting out of Los Angeles, California. He originally is from Indianapolis, Indiana, presenting the reigning, defending WBO heavyweight Champion of the world, relentless, Lehman Brewster. Okay, gentlemen, you got your instructions. I want you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. All right, let's go. Get it out. In the scavenger hunt for one perfect or dominant champion, these are two imperfect heavyweights. Will one of them make us want to see him again? Andrew Galata, for a very big man, has an excellent quick jab and good foot movement. Lehman Brewster comes out as the attacker and begins hooking and right crossing away and bombs Galata to the canvas with a perfect Three. left hook. Four. And that was a smart Five. thing, that's it. Galata Three. will not recover from this. Seven. I can promise you hey, that uh, Brewster's going to jump right back on top of him. He's small. Right, he did a smart go. thing, get on him early. He Set knows. up for a first round knockout. Right. He saw what Lynch did to him. They know that's the way to get him. Second knockdown. This is the Galata who throws against Lennox Lewis. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is the Galata that just got the hell knocked out of him. By Lehman Brewster. That's a very good point. He didn't freeze. That's a very good point. He got iced. By a guy who came ready to make his statement and has just made it with three quick knockdowns of Andrew Galata. A sensational left hook performance. A big statement-making first-round KO win for Lehman Rooster. Well, that certainly makes us want to see him again. <laughs> uh, to, 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 make I'll the, say. to make the point I made a minute ago, we've always wondered why a fighter as tough and determined and having a great chin as he has hasn't shown it on offense. And obviously tonight, he wanted to show it. Well, the new trainer, Jesse Reed, maybe got his ear and said, you're a better offensive fighter than you think you are. I told you, sometimes you need new blood in your camp. He got new blood in his camp. Somebody convinced him that he could go out and do this without taking all these punches, and he did it. Jesse Reed, throughout a relatively obscure career as a trainer, has handled 19 different world champions. He knows what he's doing. He got a great performance out of Lehman Brewster tonight. Another look, Roy. Yeah, he see him tilt and come with a beautiful left hook to the body. Right off it with a hook to the head. Beat Andrew Galata to the punch, and down Andrew went. Once again, you see overhand right.